So let's explore how to apply derivatives to find equations. Question here is, find numbers a and b such that the graph of the function fx equals to ax cubed plus bx squared minus 5x plus 9 passes through point minus 112 and f dash 1 equals to 3. So what we are given here is a function f of x equals to a cubic function ax cubed plus bx squared minus 5x plus 9. At minus 1 the value is 12 and the derivative is 3 at x equals to minus 1. So these two conditions will give us two equations. We have two unknowns so that should help us to find the values of both the unknowns. right? So let's use the first condition which is f of minus 1 equals to. So if I place minus 1 here I get a times minus 1 q plus b times minus 1 square minus 5 times minus 1 plus 9. So f of minus 1 is given to us as 12. So 12 is equals to minus a plus b that gives us plus 5 and plus 9. Or bringing the constants on one side we can say this is 9 9 plus 5 is 14 so when I bring 14 to the left side I do get let me write 12 minus 14 equals to minus a plus b so from here we can say what is b equals to right so let's take a also on this side so we get a 12 minus 14 is minus 2 equals to b. So we get a relation between a and b. So let's call this as our equation number 2. So that's the original equation is our equation number 1. Okay, so we now know what b is in terms of a. Let us use the second equation with the derivative part. Let me do it on the right side. So derivative of this function is f dash x which is equals to 3 x square plus 2 bx minus 5. Now at minus 1 the derivative is 3. So f dash at minus 1 equals to let's substitute minus 1 for x minus 1 square plus 2b minus 1 minus 5 is given to us that this derivative is 3 at minus 1. So that is 3 and this is minus so I missed the term a. So let me write down a in between. 3a right? Derivative will be 3a squared. So I missed a. 3a squared. 3a x was minus 1. So that gives me 3a right? And here we have minus 2b minus 5. So that relates again a and b. So from here what we get is we can bring 5 on this side. So it becomes 3 plus 5 equals to 3a minus 2b. Now from equation number 1 we know b is a minus 2. right? So what we will do is we will substitute a minus 2 here. So since we know that b equals to a minus 2, that is our equation number 2, we will substitute this value. So we get here 3 plus 5 is 8 equals to 3a minus 2 times a minus 2. Now let's open this bracket and solve. So we get 3a minus 2a plus 4. 3a minus 2a is a and 8 minus 4 is 4. So we get the value of a as 4, right? So let's call this as our equation number 3. So we know a is 4. Since we know a is 4 and b is a minus 2, so that gives us b equals to 4 minus 2, correct? that is 2. 
correct so we get the value of b as 2 so that is what we wanted we wanted the values of a and b so we can write down our answer answer is a equals to 4 and b equals to 2 right so that is how we can solve for the two unknowns given to us now it's a good idea to write down the equation as such with the values of a and b so the equation which we came up with can now be written as f of x equals to a is 4 for us 4x cube plus b is 2 for us 2x square minus a 5x plus 9 correct so that is the final answer with a and b substituted in the equation right that's the actual answer so that's how you can solve for such problems so whenever you have these kinds of questions where equation is given with some unknowns see what else is given every condition will lead to one equation and that equation should help you solve for the variable or the unknown right so i hope this steps are very clear and you'll be able to answer any question based on this kind of an example thank you and all the best